Ken versus Crom. <laughs> 20 bucks those horses. Uh, <laughs> I abstain. I abstain. <laughs> thank you for the question, chat. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Oh, All right, so we got Pink Fresh in. Parappa already queuing up on the sticks. And Parappa's sticking with his Ken. Maybe he's just trying to ride the hot hand. Go with what he's already familiar with, what's already warmed up. Uh, also, I do feel like Hero might struggle a little bit with characters that can space him out. And while Krom doesn't necessarily have the longest sword, it is still longer and faster than Hero's. So maybe that's... Ooh! <laughs> Shoryuken! Shor no. Shor Shoryuken! What? <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, uh, well, he's a lot. Yeah, Shoryuken... Actually, actually, Shoryuken might not have been consistent enough. Yeah, knowing probably. how that move works. But he was at top platform, though. Up I smash. feel like even if it wasn't... Up smash, yeah. I don't know. Anyway, Parappa not going to be able to seal that stock. Maybe be kicking himself in the head a little bit. Um, very even percent so far, though. Again? Okay, no, I'm actually just now, like getting back into the swing of commentating <laughs> instead of answering chat questions. Pinkfresh with Krom. Is this a normal thing? Have I just not seen this before? Yeah, it's one of his characters that he plays a lot in friendlies, and his Krom is very, very, very good just because, you know, he's one of those players who has good fundamentals. Not transferred over to almost anyone. Right, but what I mean is, like, has he been playing this character in bracket recently? Um, not too, too much, but Pink, I mean... This was this happened early in Smash 4. Um, before Lucas came out, he was just playing like five different characters. And even once Lucas came out, when he was underwhelming, he was like, okay, I'm just playing like Peach, Rosa, um, Lucas, Roy, yep. Link, Puff. Like he ha when I say he had like five characters using bracket, he did. He had so. like ten. <laughs> yeah. Like that was just how it was. Uh, he oh, should be fine. Nice. Oh. That but Rob is good at that, and yeah, now you are dead. That was impressive. The Harry into the immediate down smash, going to be taking that stock. And Parappa able to mount this comeback uh, no after though. being behind. Oh, Pink Fresh re didn't respond appropriately. Look at how much damage he's eating off this. He almost, actually, I don't think he would have died, no. but he would have been in a pretty bad position. Using that Hadouken to cover his recovery options and again. That put him in hit stun for you either. You see how Krom like doubled over after that? Ooh, getting the two frame with that neutral beam? Yeah, looks like it. Not going to be enough to kill. He's just barely going to be able to grab that ledge by the edge of his fingernails, though. Tiny bit of magnet hands there. Uh, a nice, quick, strong hit will take this for Krom. But if he's not able to get it, then Parappa is not letting up this pressure. Oh, that down smash is barely whisked because the landing animation. But I feel like Parappa mostly has this on lock as long as he doesn't um, yeah, let's say, as long as he doesn't lose his rage, because if he lost rage, that would have been bad, but with right. that angry character, 169%, you could run up and you do that sure you could, man, if it works, perfect. Yeah, good stuff going to Parappa game one. Um, yeah, that, I think the thing that cemented that game for Parappa was he got a lot of really good parries into good punishes with those parries. Because you can get a parry and then get nothing off of it, but he was very good at capitalizing once he got those parries. And now Pink opting to go ZSS instead, maybe thinking the Krom just wouldn't cut it for this matchup. Yeah, and plus it's more familiar. Yeah. This is Pink Fresh's actual, like, tried and true main at the moment, at least. Oh. That was a fantastic read oh. on the nut. <laughs> Using the intangibility frames of the early parts of that down B just to sneak underneath that hitbox and counter right back with his own. Good stuff. Yeah, great stuff. And already trying to rack up some more damage. Not quite going to be getting anything, but that frame one jab going to be able to save her from getting punished. All right, now this is Parappa's big chance. This is the first time he really had any sort of footing, so he has to capitalize on this huge. Pink Fresh not overcommitting too much, and now, now that he has center stage, he's ready to fight back swinging. Great use of that forward air. Tends to a tall character, and that nair to down B, another spike, another stock, another brutal finish. Great stuff to Pink Fresh here, just taking no prisoners, going as quickly as he can, trying to speed run this game too a little. And Ken being tall is so unfortunate. Like, I've seen three or four different interactions where it's like, yeah, if that was short of character, you would have been perfectly fine. <laughs> yeah, it's almost like normal human-sized characters are at a bit of a disadvantage. Yeah. Ooh. Okay, gonna take that stock with the Christmas Kick, however. 
Still not insurmountable of a comeback, but this is one heck of a hill to climb. Yeah, I mean, considering how it was going before. Uh, yep, big character. Yeah. That's six. <laughs> Should have skipped leg day. Got hit in the back with quad <laughs> for that one. Just, just don't go to the gym one day. Come on. Yeah. Just once. Gonna rack up 46% off of that one quick little combo. And now Pink Fresh is kind of in his end game, which is where ZSS can kind of struggle if she doesn't like kill you super early with the down B, or you don't land on her with the up B, but or so that she cannot be out of shield, or if you get hit with the paralyzer, that's easy pickings so. up. Yeah, the neutral get up into the paralyzer gonna cement that game in Pink Fresh's favor. Um, but yeah, like you said, uh, a little more familiarity was just what Pink Fresh needed to take that game. Yep, but now it puts him at a bit of a disadvantage because this is the bracket of all turn of success. We're down here in the lo loser's bracket, lower bracket, whatever you want to call it. So this is still best of three, and now um, Parappa has character and counter pick advantage. Wait, is this loser's bracket? Yeah, it is loser's bracket. You're right. Um, looks like he's going to go knee brawler. Um, he's still thinking about it. I can see it working. I can see it working. Yeah. Because although um, you do have to like box with ZSS and it's hard with her frame one jab and up the other shield, through the early and mid percents, you can still kind of hassle her as long as you avoid the up smash. Oh, he has the annoying voice. Of course, man. It's proper. <laughs> the, uh, uh, I, I do kind of like the eyes, how expressive they are whenever he messes something up, though. Okay, Ooh, he shouldn't die. Smash four ladder combos. <laughs> the noise is I hate this. I can't. <laughs> yeah, but this right here is like mostly why I feel like Parappa picked this character. Because early on, he could get a big combo. ZSS is very tall, uh, a bit of a fast faller. So it sets up for a lot. Me Brawler is more or less a bootleg fox, is how I like to put it. Yeah, I, I can see that. Neither that up smash or the back air are going to be taking it, proving that he is a bootleg fox, but that back air will take it. Yeah. I mean, that one, actually, Fox's back air might not kill killed it. You think so? Oh, yeah. Fox's back, back air is surprisingly weak, but ZSS's back air is surprisingly strong. Yeah. I remember the comparisons they used to make between ZSS and Bayo having the two strongest back airs in Smash 4. Bayo might not have it anymore, but ZSS sure as hell does. Yeah. Ooh, shock put in neutral. All right. That was a great option. Hey, if you think they're going to jump at you, yeah. you don't have any room to back up. Doesn't hurt. Puts a move out there. Oh, and he has the axe kick up the I would have expected him to have a helicopter kick. Yeah, but right now, Pink Fresh, he had to kind of bet something big and going for the suplex. That wouldn't have killed, but it does a lot of damage. And Oh, he might be dead. Nah, he's no. good. Yeah, he's good for now, but this shouldn't kill. Mm, oh. Yes. <laughs> Off yeah. the top with that up B. Yeah, man. And he di yeah, just a little bit, so he went off the top instead of off the side. If he went a little bit more to the side, I think he had a chance. But it still was it was close. It was close. Yeah, yeah. Definitely a bit of a bad situation to be in. But right now, great up smash out of shield, punishing that neutral air landing. Uh, and just like that, we are down to the wire. Last stock, game three. Yeah, Pink Fresh kind of smiling and chuckling after he got hit by the smash. He's like, what did I just get hit by? <laughs> Why is this character making these noises when I'm getting hit? <laughs> yeah. I mean, you might want to think less about the noises, more about how you're going to um, make up this deficit. It's not a big one, but it's not one that you want to be at, because Mii Brawler can hit like an absolute freight train if you let him. Yeah, definitely. That suplex, like you said, doing a lot of damage if he manages to school. That forward smash, however, does have a lot of end -line. That it does. Oh, interesting. Okay, it's gonna be fine right there using flip kick to get out that disadvantage again. And landing that back air, this is it. A big opportunity and Ooh. great by Parappa to answer back with that up B, using that big hitbox in the initial uh, frames of it. Back there won't be able to do it yet, but if he gets it by the shot block, it could be bad news. Oh, uh, then they're gonna push him off stage. Let's see what this lead trap is. Being so Ooh. patient, almost finding that up smash. Oh no, this is a big opportunity, but this shouldn't do it. Kind of relying a little bit on that up B though, using it in neutral even. Yeah, Pink Fresh still hasn't been able to capitalize on it. 
He's gonna go deep with the edge guard. Gives up oh so much save control. Finds the back air and Parappa kind of shaking his head, knowing that you bet the farm on that, but you shouldn't have bet it because the cows aren't coming home tonight, and neither are you.